Hello and welcome to today's member only webinar, How to Use the Hub. Today's presentation will be recorded and sent out to all registered participants and also be posted on the Hub. We will have a Q&A portion at the end of the presentation. You can type your questions into the question box on the webinar doc. Any unanswered questions will be answered afterward via email. Now on to Taylor Bittenbender with Textile Exchange. Taylor? Hi, everyone. Um, thanks, Rose, for the introduction. Um, as Rose said, today we're going to be discussing the hub and yeah, how to use the hub and take advantage of this membership portal and online community that we have. My name is Taylor Bittenbender. I'm the membership coordinator for Textile Exchange. And um, I'd like to get started today with uh, a quick poll. Um, yeah, I just want to see how many of you have logged into the hub so far or um, yeah, say, let us know if you have. Um, be great to see, see what level of engagement you all have had with the hub today. So I'll, we'll keep that up for a minute. All right, so uh, we don't have a ton of people on the call yet, but um, yeah, 100% of you said that you have logged into the hub, so that's awesome to see. Um, thanks for, for doing that. Um, okay, so today I'm gonna go through how to use the hub and how to really take advantage of this membership portal that we have for you. So I'm going to show you all how to access the hub, how to unlock the value um, and the power of the community that we have here. And we'll be going through ways to connect to share and also use and utilize educational resources, uh, how to collaborate with each other and accelerate this um, work and sustainability in the textile value chain that, that we are all working towards together. And um, then I'll do some quick tips and a live demo and um, yeah, tell you all a bit about using the hub um, and the way that I use it. So first off, we have four different ways to access the hub that are um, easy and convenient. So the first way is through textileexchange.org. So anytime that you are on our main website, there is a member only hub button on the top right hand corner. So if you're on the website, take a look out for that and you can always access the hub through textileexchange.org. Then the second way is through um, the store.textileexchange.org. So this is where we have publications available for non-members. And if you're there, you can um, access the hub as well. Then we have the main way, which is just um, the URL hub.textileexchange.org. Um, pretty simple. So that is an easy way to get access to it. And finally, my favorite way is through the email digest. So these are the emails that come to your inbox. Um, they come whenever there is activity on the hub. So at most you would get one of these once a day and you can also change the frequency to once a week if you're getting these emails too often. And in any of your digest emails, there's an option at the bottom to um, change the frequency of, of the digest emails. So um, that's a pretty easy, um, pretty easy way to change your frequency of emails. And also you can get right into a discussion or um, what's happening on the hub through those digest emails. So now I'm going to talk a little bit about unlocking the value of the hub and how it can be a really powerful tool for our membership community and bringing you all together. It's a platform that was built with textile exchange members specifically in mind. So we worked to build out this platform to um, specifically enable all of our members to come together in a new way to 
increase your connection and collaboration um, for this mission of accelerating the positive transformation within the textile industry. Um, so it really has a lot of of power behind it. Uh, there are these three main ways that we're looking to do that. So the first is connecting, and when I say connecting, I'm talking about connecting to shared educational resources. So the information that we have through the Learning Center and our resource library, which includes all textile exchanges, publications, and webinars, and just a vast wealth of, of knowledge there for you that is from textile exchange specifically, but also through what our other members um, put, put up in the library as well. So there's a lot of great information there. And then the next thing is the collaboration aspect of it. So the hub brings people together and allows you all to see what other members are working on, what other members are asking questions about and um, allowing a new, a new collaborating tool uh, to, to accelerate that positive transformation, which like I said, just now accelerating is the last, um, the last aspect, aspect of this. And so we're working at progressing this agenda through participation in our roundtables, which now have homes on the hub, as well as international working groups for our different um, standards work. And as, we, as well, we also have a benchmarking section that's open to anyone to join there on the hub as well. So these are all aspects where you can collaborate as well with other um, industry stakeholders who might not necessarily be members of textile exchange um, but we all have it housed together on the hub for you so you really have this ability to come to one place to find everything that you're looking for uh, and now i want to talk a little bit about our membership community because um, you all are the heart of of the work that we're doing and the hub wouldn't um, wouldn't have any meaning without all of you. So I wanted to show a sample of our membership community just to enlighten you all about the different members that we do have. So this is, like I said, just a snapshot of our members that we have members from the farm and fiber through to the brand and retailer and almost everything in between. And we work to cross pollinate um, all of our different members and really create traction um, to be able to, to move forward. So we do have a full listing of our members on our website and you can also find members on the hub, which I'll go into more in a little bit later in my presentation. But if you're ever just looking for all of Textile Exchange members in, in one place, um, you can see the list of our members on, on the website. All right, so um, on the hub, it's a place to connect to all of these different resources. And so it's built to optimize your experience when it comes to connecting shared educational resources. So like I said, um, we have a robust learning center and resource library as well as webinars on the hub right now and um, you have access to all of this information right there on the hub. Uh, this is the learning center and how we have it set up right now. Um, it's an educational resource and it's filtered by preferred fibers and materials as well as base, being based on a maturity model. So all the information goes from more beginner to advanced information as you continue throughout. And we have dedicated fiber material pages for these different um, fibers, so you see preferred cotton, recycled synthetics, biosynthetics, man-made cellulosics, down, and wool. This is a screenshot here that I'm showing of the biosynthetics page, and um, we really want you to learn about these preferred fibers and materials, but really take it to the next step where you can see how you can collaborate and take collective action. Um, in these different fibers and materials specifically. And we have listed out best practices and key challenges to adoption as well. 
We also, in the Learning Center on the home page, have a glossary of essential terminologies, and this also includes abbreviations. And so this is a great place to go, um, as, as you all probably are familiar with, we have um, in the textile industry and specifically with sustainable or more sustainable materials, we have um, plenty of abbreviations and um, sometimes it's called the alphabet soup. Um, so this is a great place to get a little bit of clarity around some terms or abbreviations. And then we have our resource library. So everything in the Learning Center is connected back to um, the library here. This is also set up, <clears throat> excuse me, this is also set up in um, fiber and material type. So if you were looking in the resource library, you would um, be able to look, as you can see here, by those um, folders dedicated to specific fibers or materials. And then you would be able to click on, um, on the specific document that you were looking at and um, download or view the resource. So the next, the next aspect of utilizing the hub is this collaboration. So we know that the best way to catalyze systemic change is through collaboration and the hub has been designed to facilitate and optimize your opportunity to collaborate with the global community of leaders within the textile value chain. And we are constantly evolving um, how to, to make this a better experience for you all and um, are working to optimize this continually. So some of the simple steps to start with collaboration, um, first is just to fill out your profile. The more information you have there, the easier it is for other members to see um, if you would be relevant for them to connect with. And so, yeah, that first step is really just filling out your profile. Um, it's similar to LinkedIn and has a function where you can import your information from LinkedIn. And then the next step is to find and add relevant members through the directory. So we have a directory of, of members on the hub and encourage you to look through the directory, see who else is a part of this great membership community and see if there are people that you would like to connect with. And you are able to send them a direct message on the hub that they'll get and they'll get an email notification of that as well. So that's one way that we hope you connect with people. Uh, the next is being in our relevant communities. So we have our membership community, which you all are a part of, but we also have our other communities. Um, as I've mentioned before, for round table participants and um, our benchmarking community. Um, so there are a lot of different opportunities there. And then we really encourage you to join and start community discussions and add to your existing discussion threads that are already in action. And you can also add to existing discussions through your inbox, uh, through those email digests that I mentioned earlier as a way to access the hub. So sometimes, um, you know, it's easy to just reply to that email and it'll get posted um, to that specific discussion. So that's a great way to get involved if you don't have a lot of time, but you think it's a good conversation. Uh, I highly recommend that. And then finally, share relevant learnings and case studies. Um, things that have been useful to you, odds are they are going to be highly useful for the rest of the membership community as well. So this is a screenshot of the community. Um, you all have access to the membership community it is exclusive for only textile exchange members. And we have um, over 3000 individuals in our membership community right now. So that's really exciting for us. And um, it's a great pool of people to um, crowdsource information and, and share knowledge in, in a new um, collaborative way. You can see here that it's split up by discussion posts, um, uh, then we have announcements in the center, and then later shared files, which are in that library in the membership community. And then we also have um, that tab at the top for members as well. 
And then finally, uh, we think that the hub is a great place to accelerate this work of um, changing the textile value chain and um, really getting to use preferred fibers and materials in a way that um, aligns with all of your sustainability goals. And so some of these ways are attending roundtables or the international working groups, uh, also the corporate fiber materials benchmark program. All of these are all great ways that you can accelerate um, your, your commitments and participation. And um, they're all giving you information from the hub as well. And we were using the hub as a tool to help facilitate those processes. Um, so we do hope that you are involved in one of those ways. All right, so um, now that I've gone through um, how you can really use the hub to um, to accelerate your, your work. I'm gonna talk a little bit about some of the key features. So I'll go through this also in a live demo, but um, I'll be showing your profile, um, member information search, the discussion boards. I'll go through the learning center a little bit, show the tag and at mention functions and the best answer feature as well. Okay, so this is the home page of the hubs, just hub.textileexchange.org. Um, on the home page, we have latest information showing up for you all. So um, this is a, a scrolling carousel with, with latest information. So it'll uh, link you to the appropriate resources. For example, we have the sustainability conference information right here for you. And you can also see some latest discussions and announcements here on the home page as well. So like I said, um, I'm going to show you all your profile information. So anytime that you are logged into the hub, you have your profile showing in the top right hand corner. And um, this is where you can access your, your own personal information. So your profile shows here and um, I'm logged in as textile exchange administrator so I don't have too much information for this account myself but um, you can see here a lot of different information is available for you um, you can add your bio or import from LinkedIn like I mentioned here we really do recommend that you do that um, and then you also have under my account you have different settings so you have your privacy settings here which you can check and adjust and then you also have your email preferences as well so um, those are two things that I recommend you check out just so um, you have your settings at what you would like them to be. All right, so then next I'm going to go to the membership community. So under communities, there's all communities and then my communities and um, I'm going to go straight to the membership community. Like I was showing before, uh, we have our latest discussion posts on the left hand side as well as announcements and latest shared files. If you keep scrolling, you can find um, you know, pin discussions will show up here. So um, we'll, we'll pin things that we think are really relevant or important. And then if you keep scrolling, you can see the different members and you could kind of scroll through here if you were just interested to see who was involved. If you are also looking for members, another way is through the sub navigation bar on the far right, we have this member tab, and this is a directory of all the members that is searchable. So you could search for um, a specific person, whether first or last name, or a specific company or email address to find someone. And then if you do find someone, you can click this button, send a message, and you can send a message to them that way. Now, if I go back to the community home, there are a few different ways that you can access the discussion posts. So we have the latest posts will show up here on the left hand side, like I've said. Um, so you could click directly on one of these or you could go to the discussion tab here and this will show you a comprehensive list of all of the different um, discussion posts that have occurred and you can scroll through and see um, if there's something that you are interested in. So for instance, we had 
um, I posted uh, about a Vogue business article um, where some of our uh, textile exchange members were featured and um, we had a conversation going around that uh, where people were just sharing some more resources some that were similar so I think that's um, you know a great a great example of of how to share information and um, keep conversation um, going with more relevant information as well. So um, that's a little bit about the discussion post and um, you'll see we also um, utilize, this is another post that I did where um, I use, utilize the at mention feature. So anytime you are um, replying to a discussion post or starting a discussion post yourself, you can use this app mentioned feature to specifically um, point someone out to information that you're talking about. And it's really simple. Um, you would just type in the, the ampersand and then you would start typing in someone's name. Uh, a tip that I tell people a lot is to type in someone's last name. For instance, my first name, Taylor, is very common. So if I were to type in Taylor, it would take a little bit of scrolling to find the specific Taylor that I wanted. But my last name, Bittenbender, is much more common. So, or, sorry, much more um, unique. And so typing in my last name made, makes it a little bit easier to find um, to find me in particular, but I find that is normally the case. So I definitely recommend that. All right, so we also have a tag feature. So we um, utilize to help with, with searching. Um, we have specific tags that we um, pulled up pulled aside so that you could find more information. So I'll go ahead and um, use the search tool for that. Um, so I'm just going to search for down here. And um, you can see a lot of stuff is coming up here. So um, there are a couple of things that that you could do um, to narrow down your search a bit is if it's something that you knew was um, in the membership community, for instance, you could refine it by the membership community here and click on that. And then now only things that were in the membership community will show up. Or um, you could use the tag, like I was mentioning, and um, there are these formal tags here and you could check off preferred down. And now only things that are tagged with this preferred down tag will show up. So that is, um, a way to refine your search um, a lot since there is a lot of information. Uh, I find it helpful when when looking for specific information. So I do recommend, yeah, using one of those tags. And you can tag things as well yourself. It'll show up like this as a as a user tag. Um, so we have you know organic cotton is showing up, for instance. And so the user tags show up in this green. And anytime that um, you click on that tag, it will show you the whole list of everything that's tagged with organic cotton in that way. So the tags are a really helpful function um, and you can use them yourself as well. So I do, I do recommend that also. Um, okay, so then going back to the home page, um, we, we have a lot of information here um, and we we hope that you find all of this helpful. Um, if you have any questions about any of that, please let us know. Um, and then one last thing in the demo is that we do have um, this feature called the best answer feature. So it will be in discussion posts um, where there's a someone asking a question. So for, for this, um, this post wasn't really a question, it was more of an announcement, but I could, um, I can mark this as um, the best answer. And um, once I mark it as the best answer, it will show up specifically that way. Um, and then that's a way that you can find the best information. But um, that post didn't have the 
the best answer on it, but um, I know we do have some, um, some posts here that do use this best answer feature. So um, it's definitely something to look out for. But I will go, I'm gonna go back to the presentation here. Um, so that was a bit about the live demo, which I hope was helpful. And um, here are some quick tips. If you take away, you know, four things from this, I recommend updating your bio um, as the number one thing to do, and then check your email settings and your privacy settings. And also um, keep an eye out for best answer feature, which does show up in green. Um, and so now, um, yeah, want to open it up to any questions um, for you all. And um, if we don't really have too many questions, I have um, our most common question here. So um, please do take this time to let me know if you have any questions about how to work anything. I'm happy to answer. All right, well, so this this first most common question is for for your specific company, is there a limit of users who can access the hub and um, The answer is no, there's no limit um, from each of our member companies in terms of users. We say the more the merrier and hope that you know you have as many people as you would like um, with access on the hub, you can um, have them access it in a couple different ways. So you can email me, taylor at textileexchange.org, and I can get them set up. Or you can um, send them this link to subscribe. We um, do have it set because we are GDPR compliant that if you have access to the hub, um, you have to opt into our communications because um, the hub does send out those daily digest emails. So um, I would like to just have everyone keep that in mind. Um, but other than that, uh, there's there's no limit or restriction on um, team members of yours who can access the hub. Okay, well, it doesn't look like there are any questions coming in. Um, so since, since we, our, um, on a member only webinar. I'll also just take this time to mention that our virtual conference is coming up, which we're all really excited for. And um, a new a new change this year for us because it is virtual is that we're allowing um, members more tickets or passes to the conference than in years when we convene in person. So um, particularly for friend level members, um, this year we're able to provide a pass to our conference with your membership and then um, supporter and partner level members also receive more passes as well. So please do make sure to, to get that. Um, all right, so it looks like we have one question. So the question is, can multiple people in the company sign up for hub emails? And um, the answer to that is yes. So I, that is the same as getting access to the hub. So if um, for your, your one specific company, you can have as many people sign up um, and they'll receive those emails from the hub as well um, when, when we give them access. So like I said, reach out to me, taylortextileexchange.org, or um, we can also send you this link to subscribe as well. All right, so um, I think that looks like it's the only question that's come through. I do hope that you all reach out with, with yeah, with any questions. Um, I'm always available as well as so is the entire team, um, particularly the membership team. We're always, always here to, to help guide you and um, help out with any sort of yeah, issues or or if you just want to know about how you can um, engage more, happy to, to help or to have a conversation. 
Thank you, Taylor. Appreciate your presentation today. And thank you for joining and participating in today's member only webinar. As a friendly reminder, we will be sending out an email of um, this presentation with the links to, to the presentation as well as to the recording. And that concludes our webinar for today. Thank you. Thank you all. Goodbye.